There's been a lot of reports about uh, a grand old initiative that may be coming from the White House on uh, a grand peace plan by the Biden administration that uh, includes normalization of the Saudis in exchange for a nuclear program, a security agreement, and many others, as was revealed by uh, Thomas Friedman last week. I wonder if you're aware of these uh, reports. Aware of the reports? Certainly. Uh, and and we've, have you read we've, them and so on? Uh, we've wor we have um, uh, engaged in in promoting such normalization from the State Department. As you may remember, the um, uh, Secretary Blinken traveled to Saudi Arabia, right. talked about normalization relations with Israel with the Crown Prince, and then has discussed it with the Prime Minister of Israel as well. So you are in tandem with the, with the White House in, in terms of working together and so of on? Of course. Of course, okay. So let me ask you something. It used to be that the United States of America used to have a peace envoy, an envoy for peace, but now you have replaced him with a normalization envoy. Is that correct? Uh, so I, I, we have it. We have we we do have a normalization envoy, but right. the senior leadership of this department, as the senior leadership of this of the at the White House, from the president on down, have made clear that we support a two-state process, two-state uh, uh, solution, and it continues to be our policy. Nonetheless, you don't have a peace envoy. You have an envoy for the Abraham Accords and normalization. Uh, I, 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 I don't think you should read into. I don't think you should read in. I don't think you should read in into anything about relative prioritization based on the appointment uh, of a special envoy. There are senior officials in this building and senior officials at the White House who are actively engaged in pressing for a two-state solution and who raise it directly with senior leaders in Israel, including the Prime Minister. So, uh, when was the last time that the United States actually tried to broker some sort of a? Uh, Talks even uh, peace there, talks uh, between there, there have the Palestinians been, this is and the, the second Israelis second so historical question uh, at the briefing today. I will say that I well, let me let me, so, sorry, let, me let, let me when you I, sure, I, I don't sure. interrupt when you ask a question. I appreciate you letting me, me give my answer. Um, uh, it is an issue that we have raised repeatedly in our conversations uh, uh, with leaders in Israel, as well as our conversations with leaders of the Palestinian Authority. But the truth is, I mean, there are envoys. There's uh, uh, Andrew Miller today met with Palestinians, went to Palestinian towns, and so on. But there is no effort to reignite, if you wish, or restart peace talks. You agree with me, right? Uh, Said, it is our policy that we continue to press uh, uh, both the Israeli Prime Minister and the leadership of the Palestinian Authority for. It is also an issue that has come up in the context of normalization. I don't know if you, if you followed the press conference when the, the secretary traveled to Saudi Arabia, the foreign minister of Saudi Arabia made clear that one of the things that they were interested in the context of normalization was seeing uh, some progress on, on um, uh, issues between Israel and the Palestinian people. Okay. No, let me, I promised Abby she would go next, so let me, okay. Yeah. Do you have an update uh, on the efforts that the US is making with the Saudi Arabia and Israel and uh, where are the sticking points uh, uh, on this, ma uh, this matter? Well, as I've said before, it continues to be a priority for us, but it is not something where we are going to constantly read out what are private diplomatic conversations. To, oh, 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 let, let, let me let me go to let me. I, I, hold on, hold on. Let me just. I'm gonna I'm gonna work the room a little bit because other people have had their hands up and you had. This is going back.